What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to another episode of Subscriber Showdown. This is a series where I play against you guys with my play to win team um, and just try and do the best I can really. As you can see in the bottom left of the screen, the record is currently 9 wins and 1 loss. Um, and we've got 5 games this episode for you guys. The play to win record on the right hand side there is 52 and 0. Um, it's, it's really funny actually, I find it... For some reason, I don't really know why, but it's it's a lot more difficult against you guys than it is in play to win. Uh, even though in play to win, you know, I don't really get to I don't get to pick who I play against. You know, I know when you play on the regular online games and not in tournaments, you've got a much higher chance of playing somebody who's not good at the game. But I don't know who I play. You know, so it's really weird how I've managed to get 52 wins in a row against random people. But against subscribers who are also particularly quite random because the way I do the draw is very, very random. But I've only managed to win 9 of 11 against you guys, you know. So and the, the way you can play against me, guys, I've been asked this a fair few times. Is you need to follow me on Twitter. My Twitter is twitter.com slash Nepenthes. And um, I will uh, I'll tweet when I play the subscriber showdown and... Basically, the first person to reply gets the the opportunity to play against me. Um, I I do realise that it's it's hard for some people to reply instantly, and some people are just lucky that they're on at the, at the right time and stuff. Uh, but I just haven't found a way to to do it better. Really, uh, I haven't found a, a better way. Um, what I I was thinking about doing something like asking a question like the first twenty people. The answer I'll put onto my PlayStation friends list and then I'll play them one by one and delete them once I've played them. That was a nice goal there from El Kabir as well, by the way. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know if that's better because that gives you more of a chance. You don't have to necessarily be the first person that time. But that would also mean that there'd be less opportunities because it would be like 20 games would be four or five episodes. And obviously that would be like a whole week before I ask again. So let me know in the comment section if you want that to to be what happens or not. Uh, I had a really good game here actually. And uh, Adam, actually the guy I'm playing now actually, Adam, is the guy that I played in Ruin Randomer a couple of games ago when I beat him 4-3. And he's a, he's a good player. That was a sick goal there from Theo Walcott. But I managed to beat him 8-2. So um, if you want to throw in some 8-2 jokes, go right ahead. I'm going to talk today, guys, about emotion, uh, funnily enough. It's a really weird thing to bring up in a FIFA video, and it's not really what maybe you're going to be thinking it's going to be about. But I was watching a video earlier today, I think somebody linked it to me on Twitter, about Thierry Omri, and I started watching other videos about him, and I watched a video about where he came back to Arsenal for the, the short period um, in the... The, the like the break of the Major League Soccer and he came to Arsenal for like a month and his first game back was against Leeds in the FA Cup hold on I just need to shut my window that guy's making so much fucking noise it's not even a guy it's actually some big fat troll of a woman and she's fucking munting and is cutting the grass in her lawn like she's never cut grass before so anyway I was watching this video of Omri when he came back and he comes on the field and like the Arsenal fans are going mental, you know, like it, it's so powerful. Um, and then he comes on and he scores and the commentators and the crowd and the reaction of Henri when he like sprints over to Wenger and, and hugs him. It's just, it gives so much emotion. Like it gave me goose pimples and you know, a lot of people are going to be like, ha, gay. But it gave me goose pimples. Like it was so, so powerful to watch a man who plays football have that much of an impact on people and it, it started making me think like imagine having that sort of impact like imagine being that person where you can just do one thing literally one kick of a ball can make millions and millions of people just I don't there's not even a word for it that like the way I feel the way I felt was so incredible especially when it was like when it was live and I was actually watching that FA Cup game in my room that I'm sitting in now and when he came on like I knew he was gonna score you know but when he actually scored it was just like wow like do you know what I mean like you get goose pimples and like it, I started watching loads of other stuff and I, I spend most of my days doing this sort of crap when I should really be like focusing on making videos and stuff but I started watching other stuff and 
I, I stumbled across David Beckham's goal against Greece that put us through to the Euros like however many years ago, I think like eight years ago or whatever. And um, when Beckham puts that goal in at Wembley, like goes, it's just another one of those moments where it it hits you so hard that you're just so overwhelmed with the situation that you literally feel like bursting into tears and like I'm 27 years old and that sort of stuff still gets me um, so I actually want to ask if, if you guys have got any any moments like that for your clubs that or you know or any sport in general that you think are so powerful that it it almost brings you to tears if you want to share those links with me then feel free to put them in the description or send them to me via private message in case your links get like thumbed down for spam and shit if you want to just pm me on youtube that'd be awesome um and then we've got a couple more games left here guys so i played this guy dev he was the first person to reply against me and this game that i played here i felt um unjustly done by fifa now if i take a loss on subscriber showdown 99 times out of 100 i've used that phrase a lot recently i should stop using that uh, more often than not I'll, I'll i accept the loss and move forwards like with most games but this loss against dev here I didn't think I deserved to lose. Uh, the match stats are heavily in his favour. That's absolutely granted. Uh, and he is a very, very good attacking player. That's also... I can't take anything away from him about that. But I had so many... So much problems with the passing and the movement of the players. That I, I don't know what happened. So I wanted to play him again. Uh, and I did play him again. But yeah, I really just felt like FIFA was shitting down my throat, as Cal Parisi would say. Uh, so I played Dev again. And I just thought... You know, I, I I don't know. I don't I don't really know how to say it, how to explain it. But anyway, I played Dev for a second time here, and he takes a, the lead there with Di Maria and takes a two 0 lead with um, I, I forget who his second player scores. I think it's Davi Villa. Was it Villa? Yeah, it was. Um, yeah, so he takes a two 0 lead, and I thought at this stage I'm actually thinking to myself, fuck, maybe this guy is just that much better than me. Maybe the way he plays forces me to make the errors and this and that and but uh, I put my concentration glasses on and managed to get back into the game in around the 70th minute here Agbon Lahore doing work down the wing and you've got to love that finesse shot Agbon Lahore is such a good player as well guys I'm going to talk about them in the in uh, the next video that I make for subscriber showdown I think I'm going to talk about uh, like in in air quotes overpowered players um but I scored a, a late goal there, 89th minute winner against Dev. It was an absolutely fantastic game, managed to get my revenge, and so we go to a 12-3 and 3 record. But this is the end of the video, guys, so thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, and I will see you next time. Cheers. The match thing there, you get, as you can see in the top right corner, pretty much about now, uh, it says 49-1. and one. Of course, we know that one loss was a 3-0 win that I got disconnected from. So, a half century of games, guys. If I can go another 50 games, that would be absolutely awesome. I've actually got to, to, to ask you guys for a little bit of help. Um, I have uh, the Elgato Gaming Capture HD device, and since I've been using it, when I do live commentaries, the audio... It lags and I don't know how and I don't know why but it's only been since I've been using the Elgato gaming device so basically what